All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to be talking about the goals involved in social selling. So let's jump in and take a look at our social success cycle. And we're again, we're up in the upper left hand corner here looking at goals. So the things that we're looking to do in the upper left hand corner, you know, if you hear your client or your boss or you as a business owner are looking to generate more leads, uh, grow an email list. Um, if you hear them saying that kind of thing, then you are in the social selling uh, quadrant of you know, tasks needed to be done for social media. And if you're looking to acquire new customers, right? So change leads into customers, you're also in the social selling stage. And then we start uh, looking at things like cross sell and upsell. Right? So taking existing customers, getting them to buy other things or to get them to buy uh, more things from you and increase the amount of uh, frequency and recency which they've bought is another uh, goal at the social selling stage. All right, so let's take a look at some examples here. And the, and the most difficult one maybe to, to um, grasp is this idea of initial customer acquisition. Because earlier on in this, in this section, we talked about how you don't sell on social media. You have to lead with value, okay? And that and value, leading with value means either uh, leading with um, a piece of content that's ungated, like a, like a blog post, or leading with a um, piece of content that is gated like a lead magnet. All right, and we'll talk more about lead magnets and so forth as we get more into the tactical side of social selling. But the conceptual side of this is that how do you sell somebody? How do you achieve the goal of initial customer acquisition without leading with an offer? All right, and the idea here is that you're gonna lead with content, whether it's a blog post or a lead magnet, and you're going to then immediately make an offer. All right, so, uh, but the important thing to remember with the offer that is made at this stage is that it is a low dollar offer, all right? We are not looking to make a uh, $7,000 offer at, at this early stage in the relationship uh, with a new prospect, but maybe a little $7 offer? Yeah, that could be something that would entice somebody to become an initial customer with you. We call this a tripwire offer. And we'll, again, we'll talk more about that in the more tactical side of, of this uh, training on social selling. But let's look at this again from a strategic standpoint. We, we take a click out of something like Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever that click comes from in social media. Um, and we send that click to a piece of content, remembering that uh, that content is native all right, to these channels. And once they consume the content, we're gonna ask them through an embedded call to action to check out the lead magnet, which is gonna be, again, the gated offer, where we're gonna ask for our content or contact information like an email address and maybe even more all right, to, to generate a lead. And once we have uh, gathered their information and gathered uh, their contact information, they've become a lead, we are going to immediately give them an offer uh, to ascend and become a customer. And that's how we can move somebody very, very quickly out of social media like, uh, like I said, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, doesn't matter uh, where the click comes from. We move people into the content from the content to the lead magnet, which is really more content, it's just at this point we're asking for an email address, and then immediately make an offer. And again, we'll get more into this, uh, how to do this tactically uh, later on, but conceptually, this is how we meet the goal of initial customer acquisition, is that we gradually crank up the relationship until we've got, uh, uh, we've made them uh, an offer, and they've given us at least, you know, a dollar. All right, so a low dollar offer like this will convert somebody from a lead into a customer and, and that's important, right, is to acquire new customers. All right, so another important goal here at the social, in social selling is cross sell and upsell, which obviously is an important part of any selling strategy is to find ways to either upgrade someone's experience by 
um, adding value to them in, in, in forms of other products and services or to cross sell them on things that are related to what they've already purchased from you. So uh, if you look at how Lowe's is handling this on their social channels, you've got you know, a, a Facebook update here that's, that's coupled with a very good content strategy. And this is gonna be sort of a theme that once we get down into the tactics of social media, you're gonna find that more and more of, of what you're gonna feel like is social media actually blends into a good content strategy. So if you look at how Lowe's is, is phrased this, we've got a guide for almost everything, including how to take care of your outdoor furniture, and then it's a link. Okay, now if I click on this link out of Facebook, I'm gonna be taken into a piece of content about how to take care of my outdoor furniture, which of course is leads straight into a call to action to shop patio furniture covers, okay? And actually this is just one piece of this how to take care of your outdoor furniture guide uh, piece of content, and it blends naturally into a nice call to action uh, to buy some of their products, and then of course, you're going to have cause to action to get into other guides about how to stain your deck or how to create a, you know, a, a, a planter garden or other things that would be related to somebody that wants to take care of their outdoor space and works you into a, it works you into a cross sell or upsell situation. So really nice uh, use of social media and content strategy by Lowe's here to achieve the goal of cross sell and upsell. All right, so uh, the, the last uh, goal that we're gonna be talking about um, when it comes to social selling is again, another important goal across all uh, marketing channels and strategies and tactics. It doesn't matter if it's social media or paid media or SEO or whatever it is that you're doing, you're always wanting to also increase buyer frequency and recency actually. So important, important to understand the idea of recency and frequency in, in someone's uh, business because what you're looking to do is bring people back more often and bring them back uh, sooner, right? So uh, more frequently and, and, and more recently. So if you look at how Hilton Hotels is handling this, um, you know, again, we've got a Facebook update here where they're saying, uh, to celebrate a new addition to the Hilton family, H honors members who book Hilton uh, San Luis Potosi directly will receive 1,000 H honors points. All right, so using a loyalty program and coupling that with your social media, uh, so providing an incentive through your social media to, to become more loyal and thus more recent and more frequent as a buyer um, is, a, is a good solid strategy. So you see Hilton here uh, offering H honors points through Facebook to book this new hotel that they put together. And this is just the use of smart, you know, smart use of, uh, uh, of marketing strategy to get people more recent and more frequent using a, a uh, loyalty program. So in the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, the tools that we use in the social selling process. We'll see you in the next video.